welcome welcome thank you so much for subscribing to this youtube channel welcome once again here is a headline for today bubo mo yoruba emma gbadu afu mama unitiwi uloye sondigbo ati professor banji akintui all the people of yoruba nation please pray for mama unitiwi uloye sondigbo and professor banji akintui Please, when you wake up, before you eat, put Mama Onitiri, Chief Sunday Go, and Professor Banja Kintui in your prayers. Because these people really need these prayers more than ever. Like, this is the time that they need this prayer. With the way things are going on now in Yoruba Nation, Yoruba land now, they need your prayers. They need your prayers. You no, know, God has been helping them. God has been, you know, God helped them. Chief Sondigbo last year and didn't allow them to kill him. And he made him escape the hands of the DRCs. God also helped Professor Banji Akintoye, you know, to go, like, leave Nigeria then to go into exile because they wanted to kill him. And one thing about Nigeria is if you uh, begin to stand up for yourself, stand up for your right, stand up for against injustice, then the government will stand up against you. Look at the case of Namdi Kano too. He has been in detention for how many months now? Thank God for Chief Sunday Bo. Thank God that he didn't stay too long in detention. Thank God. Thank God. But Namdi Kano has been in detention for how many months now? So God has been helping these people. So let's just be putting them in prayer before we wake up in the morning before we eat let's just put them in prayer the way you pray for your own family the way you pray for your parents and your children also pray for these people because they're the one that is fighting you know standing in the forefront for you and your family because when there's peace in yoruba land you too will have peace when when there is you know there's money when there's good health when there's good education system everything will be okay for you and your family too so pray for them pray for them that god is strengthening them more and more pray for them so with what with what's going on now look at the case of amal nitiri some days ago some people came to her tell her that she should leave um the European nation they were discouraging her and she was like she came on now like why will you tell me to leave Yoruba nation? Why? And they said because people that she's fighting for, people that she's, you know, clamoring for, um, independent for, they're the ones that are speaking against her. And she said when she went to Google about those that are talking about, uh, you know, those rumors, those comments, she was shocked because the people she, the people she never expected were the ones speaking against her. So just from speaking against her, they will graduate to you know attacking us so let's be praying for them that god is strengthening them look at the case of um chief sunday Bo again you know he had to leave nigeria because they were planning to take his life he had to leave nigeria although by the grace of god he'll be coming back for the mega rally that will happen very soon but he had to leave nigeria the insecurity in this country is getting too much like getting too much so we need to pray for them we need to pray for them because when we pray for them we are praying for ourselves too so we need to pray for them we need to pray for them you know god has made a way for us god has given us our freedom already but the enemy will always lift their ugly head god has given us our own freedom already you notice every time officer banja akin to a comes on air will be like very soon very soon we're gonna have our independence you notice that when chief sunday Bo comes on air or he's having an interview with somebody any of the media houses it'll be like very soon we're going to have our independence god has already made a way already but we need to pray for these people these leaders we need to pray for our leaders we need to pray for them you know it's not easy to want to stand for a group of, group of people concerning the fact that this planet terrorists are yeah, god help us so it's not easy it's not easy at all so let's continue to pray for those people and also with the fact that these are our politicians this this kings in land now the instead of helping the Uber people they are going at their back and collecting money from the federal government you know it doesn't make sense so let's just pray for them let's pray for them that god will strengthen them yes for those that decide to stand um, to that for those that decide to be honest for those that decide to you know stand for the people of Yoruba land 
we need to pray for those people. It's not easy. It's not easy to be a leader. It is not easy at all. It is not easy to be a leader. <laughs> if you think it's easy, please go and try one. Start from a very small leadership position. Then you understand how it feels. Even the people who are trying to call you, you know, hey, they could just be worrying. It's only God that is strengthening them, keeping them in good health. Let's imagine them at um, 87 or 86. If I'm correct, Professor Banja Kito is thing. Somebody said something one time. He said, um, Professor Banja Kito, he has like a lasting memory, a very long, long term memory. When you tell him something, now we thought it because they usually have conference, you know, conference calls or discourse, they have meetings. Yes, but somebody said he has this very good memory that he remembers whatever that is being discussed. So at their age, they are still doing this. So people left their family to help people, like Chief Sunday go now. She's in our board, but he's running up and down trying to help the Yoruba people. It's not easy. It's not that he left all his money. If you if you know if you don't know, let me tell you now. Chief Sunday Igbo is a very wealthy man. He's very, very wealthy. He's thinking rich. So for those thinking that he's coming to collect your money, no, he's not coming. He doesn't need your money at all. If he needs your money, we we'll just go and meet the government, we'll just become a politician. But no, he wants the people to be free from this bondage, free from this killing, free from how these people will be kidnapping, so we don't, we cannot go to farm again. So this is what it wants. So for those saying that eh, he's trying to collect your money, he's not collecting your money, doesn't need your money, doesn't need any, any cobble from your hand. So let's continue to pray for these people. Let's continue to pray for them. Yes. And also, let us pray for um, the media houses, those bringing us awareness about everything going on in Yoruba Nation. Let us pray for them. Although they are traitors amongst us, yes, they are traitors, but we need to pray for those that are truly that truly have Yoruba Nation's interest in art. So if we just pray for them, that God will help them. Because now this these traitors among those people, they will try and dab away everything. You know, with the way now I don't even know what's going on on social media now. People will just be coming against eh, this media person does not have sense. You know what happened last week um concerning Said Omobota and Akonda a week ago. You know, they are just you know, we pray that God will bring peace um among these people. God will bring peace because for us who have our freedom, we need peace. We need peace without peace. <laughs> Uh, it is not easy. It's not going to be. So we need peace. When there's peace and love, then we think about other external issues. But right now, the issue now amongst us, the internal issue, now, internal problem. What is saying economics? I mean, government. The internal problem now in Yoruba land is lack of love. We don't want to tolerate each other. Everybody wants to be in a higher position. So if that thing is not cleared. <laughs> We'll be, we'll be dragging ourselves backwards. So that is my own advice. That's what I have noticed. So what's your take on this? What do you feel about this? The fact that Professor Banja Kintoye, Mama Onitiwi, and Ule Isondebo, we need to pray for them. We need to pray for them. What do you feel about it? You also pray for your people, your pastors and church, your imam, right? You pray for them. So you can also pray for these people because when they finally... You know, help your nation to leave Nigeria, then there will be peace and everybody will be happy. So please do not forget to pray. So, what's your comment on this? What is your reaction to this? Do not forget to like this video channel. And for those who have not subscribed yet, click on the red button, subscribe to get more of this news. And also, do not forget to click on the notification button to get notified when I will bring in latest news. Because whenever you don't click on the notification button, you will not know when we bring in more latest news for you please don't forget to do that thank you so much for your time thank you so much for listening god bless